Welcome to the Bootstrap Mogul Podcast, where we bring you the grassroots tips, tricks, and stories in everything entrepreneurship, digital marketing, and personal development. I'm your host, Andres Olguin. I am beyond excited to be here with you today. Whether you're tuning in while sipping on that morning cup of joe, running errands, or winding down after a long day, I appreciate you choosing to spend your valuable time here with me. So we've got some powerful insights to share with you today. You know, one of the big questions I get asked all the time, and I mean all the time, is, Andres, how do I grow my email list? Well, dear listeners, today is the day that we dive deep into this topic. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will your email list. It takes strategy, it takes commitment, and above all else, it takes really providing that value. So first off, let's start with the basics. Your email list is like your golden ticket in the business world. It's your direct line of communication with your audience, your potential customers. Now, it's not dependent on algorithms or ads, it's yours. But to make it yours, you've got to build it and build it right. So how do you start? Well, you start with offering value, whether that's a free ebook, a discount code, an exclusive webinar, anything that your potential subscribers might find valuable. This is what we call your lead magnet or your subscribe to my email list hook. Next, you want to optimize your website to capture these leads. So make sure there's a sign up form on every page and don't bury it in the footer. Make it prominent, make it enticing, and make sure that it speaks directly to the benefits they'll receive. Remember, the easy it is for your audience to sign up, the more likely they are to do it. Now, you've got your lead magnet, you've got your website optimized, what's next? Well, it's time to drive traffic to your site. Social media, guest blogging, search engine optimization, or SEO, these are all great tools for drawing people to your site and in turn, growing your email list. But here's the deal, folks. It's not just about growing your email list. It's about nurturing it and cherishing it. It's about sending out regular, valuable content that makes your subscribers glad that they joined your list. Make it so good, they can't wait to open your emails. And remember, always, always respect your list. Never spam, never sell or share their information because trust is the backbone of email marketing, as it is with so much other different channels of digital marketing. Okay, my friends, so we've laid the foundation, but we're not done yet, not by a long shot. Now, that now that we've covered the basics of growing your email list from scratch, we're going to dive a little deeper. So what's next? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're about to move on to something I like to call the essential list building blueprint. It's a strategy that's so effective, it's bound to turbocharge your email list growth. But that's a tale for the next segment. So stay tuned and keep those ears perked up because what's coming up is the game changer you've been waiting for. You're listening to the Bootstrap Mogul Podcast, and I'm your host, Andres Olguin, guiding you on your journey to becoming the ultimate bootstrap mogul. This episode is brought to you by Income Multiplier, the game-changing program that's helping individuals just like you transform their financial futures. Are you a small business owner, a 9-to-5 employee, or just someone looking to create additional income streams? Do you want more financial stability and flexibility in your life? If you've answered yes, then Income Multiplier is the perfect solution for you. Income Multiplier is a comprehensive course designed to teach you how to identify, create, and scale multiple income streams, tailored to your unique skills and passions. By the end of the program, you will be able to identify lucrative income stream opportunities that align with your strengths and interests, develop a strategic plan to build and grow your new income streams, master essential marketing techniques to attract customers and increase revenue, and balance and manage your new ventures without getting overwhelmed. And here's the best part. As a special offer for our podcast listeners, you can start your journey to financial freedom for just $9. For a limited time, you can unlock the full potential of Income Multiplier at an unbeatable price. So what are you waiting for? 
It's time to take control of your financial future and break free from the constraints of your current situation. Now to get started with Income Multiplier, simply visit the link in the description or the show notes. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity. Enroll in Income Multiplier today and transform your life for the better. Okay, so let's start off with the first step of the email list growth blueprint, which is your ideal subscriber. So in order to be effective with email marketing, you need to identify the people you can help best with your product or service. Now, you'll do this by creating an ideal customer avatar. By identifying your target audience, you can market in a way that allows you to attract customers to come to you rather than you having to search for them. Now, connecting with your audience is simpler when you can relate to their problems, speak in a way that resonates with them, and provide solutions that make their lives easier. The topic of finding your ideal client comes up time and time again, and that's because most people skip this crucial step. So don't make the mistake of assuming everyone is part of your target audience, because there's no point in building a large email list if you aren't being specific about your ideal client. Next, we move into an email marketing platform. So an email marketing platform is the system that you will use to build and grow your email list. One of the biggest benefits to using an email marketing platform is that you can take advantage of autoresponders to streamline your email marketing process. Essentially, an autoresponder allows you to automate part of your email marketing campaign by handling the actual emailing for you. So this means you only have to create the email or email series once, and then you send it on autopilot. So this lays a groundwork for you to build a relationship with your subscribers and make sales later without having to do all of that heavy lifting. In addition to autoresponders, your email marketing platform also gives you the ability to capture email addresses and create customer lists. It gives you that opportunity to go and store customer data or segment customers to multiple lists based on certain specifications that you've made. You can also use templates to create attractive standardized emails, opt-in forms, and even landing pages. You can create an email or series of emails and use automation to determine when they are sent and to whom they are sent. You can also gauge the success of your emails through things like reporting and analytics, and you can also access customer support to answer any technical questions that you may have. So most email marketing platforms have similar capabilities, so don't worry about picking the perfect one because they all have the ability to export your customer list, so if you need to switch platforms, you can easily take your list with you. Third, we move into that enticing lead magnet that I just talked about earlier at the start of the episode. So in order to get people to share their contact information with you and join your email list, you need to entice them with a lead magnet. Now, as I said, a lead magnet is free content that you've created that gives your audience a bit of your expertise in exchange for the email address. Now, while simply asking people to give up their contact information may have worked in the past, it rarely does nowadays you're going to see much better results if you offer something of value in exchange for their email address. Now, there are lots of options for what type of content to include in your lead magnet. Your lead magnet could be a list of resources, a checklist, a cheat sheet that solves a problem your ideal customer is facing, or even something like a quick mini course. And most importantly, your lead magnet should be something that your audience actually wants. Because if it doesn't solve a problem or help them, they're not going to sign up for your list and your efforts will go to waste. Um, So creating your lead magnet shouldn't feel overwhelming though. If you already have some really great content, you can even reuse and repurpose it into a lead magnet. So for example, if you've already written a blog post about a specific topic, you can then turn that into a checklist. Your lead magnet will help you achieve your goal of building an email list while drawing people in with valuable, relevant content. Next, we move into a high converting opt-in page. An opt-in page focuses on a single purpose, promoting your lead magnet. It encourages people to take action and is used to entice people to provide their email address and other contact information in exchange for your free offer. 
Now, once someone enters their information, they are added to your email list and your lead magnet can be sent through an automated email that you've created. There are several key components of a successful opt-in form. Are you ready? Okay. So your opt-in form should give people an incentive to join your list. It should be free of distractions and focus solely on your lead magnet. It should have a simple layout, which includes an obvious call to action, and it should be noticeable with design that complements your branding and uses language that resonates with your ideal client to motivate them to sign up. Now, your form should turn visitors into subscribers and as many possible into customers one day. Now, this is known as a high converting opt-in page. Next, we move into having relevant content to nurture relationships. So now that you've started, you know, people have started joining your email list, you need to nurture your relationship with them to keep them on your list. And one of the most important things that you can do to achieve this is to be consistent. So remain at the top of your subscribers' minds by emailing them on a consistent basis with a consistent message. So you need to stand out to your target audience by providing high quality, valuable, free content that is going to help them solve a problem. Remember, the content you create should be relevant and tie into what your ideal client wants. Now here are some ideas for content that you can use to cultivate relationships. First, send a warm welcome email, then share the story about your brand. Third, give a list of resources or websites you recommend. Share your favorite blog posts. You could even run a competition for a prize or reward your email subscribers with a free service or product. To nurture your list, focus on sharing expertise and giving to your audience. So choose quality over quantity and you will be able to convert your subscribers into paying customers when they are ready. Okay, and then six, which is the last step of the blueprint, steady traffic to your opt-in page and forms. So getting steady traffic to your opt-in page isn't a case of if you build it, they will come. It takes time, effort, and following some key strategies to grow your list of subscribers. So to get visitors to your opt-in page, think about where your ideal subscribers hang out. They might be one of your current contacts or customers. Maybe it's someone who visits your website, connections on social media, or even people that you've met offline. So here are four strategies you can use to drive traffic to your opt-in page. First, get website viewers added to your list. Second, go to your social media, get your social media followers to join your list. Third, get people that you've met offline onto your list. So if you're going to some networking event, get people to sign up to your list. And fourth, use content marketing to drive traffic to your opt-in page or form. So that's, you know, writing blog posts, creating videos, and then optimizing it so that search engines can find that content. Now, there are dozens of other tactics you can use, and many of them are free, but you don't have to do all of them. My biggest guidance is that you focus on one strategy at a time so you can put forth your best effort to drive traffic consistently. Now, don't be afraid of a little trial and error as you try out different strategies. Because each time you try something new, you get closer to understanding what works best for your audience. The most important step is to make sure that all of your efforts include the same call to action, which is to sign up for your free offer. Take action consistently to get people signing up and your email list will start to grow. And there we have it, folks. We ventured deep into the world of list building, exploring everything from the basics of growing your email list from scratch to the powerhouse that is the essential list building blueprint. Now, I hope you're leaving this session armed with a treasure trove of strategies ready to catapult your email list to new heights. Remember, like with everything in the entrepreneurial world, growing your email list is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about nurturing relationships, providing value, and above all else, honoring the trust your subscribers have placed in you. Now, as we wrap up today, I want to take a moment to just say thank you. Thank you for being part of this journey with me. Thank you for choosing to spend your time on the Bootstrap Mogul podcast. Each and every one of you is a critical part of this community, and I don't take that for granted. Now, if you found value in today's episode, I'd love for you to share it with a friend. 
Let's help as many bootstrap moguls as possible grow their businesses together. And of course, be sure to subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss any future episodes. Before we part ways, a final word. In the ever-evolving world of entrepreneurship, remember, it's the resilient, it's the learners, it's the bootstrap moguls who rise to the top. So stay curious, stay focused, and keep on pushing those boundaries. I'm Andres Ogin, your host here on the Bootstrap Mogul Podcast. And until next time, remember, the world needs that special gift that only you have. So stay ambitious, keep innovating, and let's conquer the business world together. Oh, <laughs>